Hello fellow artists, this is Mr. Hendrick here for your first series of lessons in this Excel Art Elective. Um, for this series of lessons you'll be using a couple of different materials, some things you definitely need and some things are more choice based. Um, the lesson is on how to create bubble letters and block letters. So for this first lesson, I'm going to show you some really uh, quick and easy ways to create various kinds of letters. Um, you will definitely need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. Optional things, if you have a couple of Sharpies to outline your work in, that'd be great. Um, and of course, a sharpener if needed. All right, so without further ado, here is our first lesson. All right, boys and girls, for this uh, tutorial, um, I'll be showing you a couple of different ways to do interesting lettering from bubble letters and block letters and a couple other things in between. Um, for this lesson, you will need a pencil, an eraser, something darker, I'm gonna use a Sharpie. Um, if you feel more comfortable using a ruler, you're more than welcome to. I won't be, but you are absolutely allowed to. And uh, if you need, a sharpener. Okay, so to do any sort of lettering, the first thing you have to do is write out what you want. Um, over time, you might feel comfortable to just draw the letters straight out, but for this initial lesson, I think it's important to start with just printing out what you want to say. So, um, if I start with something as simple as the alphabet, I want to write neatly. Right? Now, if I want to make these into bubble letters, uh, what I'll have to do is I'm going to be outlining these letters, but keeping my corners rounded. So, for example, if I start at the A, right? If I start right here, I'm gonna loop it up and around, bring it back around town, and loop it over. Now, whenever you have something in the middle, don't forget to do that as well. So I'm gonna add my little circle there. Same thing with the B, right? So I wanna keep it as round as possible to make it look like a bubble. Same thing inside, round, round. Letter C, easy enough. Sort of get the idea. So by starting with the print and just outlining it, you pretty much give yourself a guide as to what you want these letters to look like. Now, before I move on, the next thing I'm going to do is use my eraser to erase the pencil lines. All right, so there you have it, some nice bubble letters. Now, if I want to do block lettering, um, it's the same principle, right? So it's almost like a skeleton. You start with the, the inside part of the letter by just writing it out simply, um, and then you will be outlining it, but this time using more um, edges and, and, and pointier sides. So notice I wrote it out simply in print, evenly spaced out, um, and now I'm going to outline it. Again, once you're done, you'll go back in and just erase your pencil lines. Now, what if you wanted to put words together, right? Um, so the same rule applies. If you can write it, you can outline it. So if I wrote Mr. Hendrick, right, and I kept my letters closer together, If a letter is blocking another letter, you want to take that into account. So if I start with the M, let's say. This R is slightly behind it, right? 
I add the H, this E is slightly behind it. There you have it. Now, let's say you want to try something fancy like script. Um, you can easily do that as well by using the same sort of idea. Um, same rule applies. I'm going to be outlining it, also taking into account the inside of the S, the inside of the uh, A and the E and the other S and the O and the E at the end. Um, here we're going to try to do it in one fell swoop. All right, and now I'm going to do the inside of the A, inside of the E, inside of the S. Now this O is pretty tricky because I have a looped part up top. So I'm going to try my best to copy that, bring this around town, and add the other loop for the E. And don't forget the exclamation point. Okay, now before I finish up, same thing as before, I want to erase my pencil lines. All right, now, you can do tons of things with these letters, right? You can um, add color to them, you can add shading to them, you can do a couple little tricks to make them look three-dimensional. Um, what I wanna show you right before uh, we end this first video is just one quick tip that I like to do with my letters. If I look at the left side and the bottom of each letter, of every part of the letter, um, you can create a nice little cast shadow um, or drop shadow uh, below it. Now, you can do it on the right and the top if you'd like. Uh, you can do it on the right and the bottom, however you'd like to do it. I'm going to do mine on the left side of each letter and the bottom. So, if I start with, I'm going to do each one of my letters. So, if I start with the A. Um, I'm not going to start at the very, very top. I'm going to start a little bit below. I'm going to bring this on the left side and the bottom. So I fill it in. Um, do the same thing here. So here's the bottom part of this section of the A, the left side, and this bottom. Now, I'm not done. There's also the inside of the A. You gotta keep in mind of that. So the left side of this inner part of the A also needs a little bit of a shadow. All right, um, I'll do the same thing with the H. So same rule applies, left side, bottom. To be honest, it's a little bit easier with the block lettering bottom, left side, bottom again. Don't forget this part too. This is also a left side. All right. Um, do the same thing with the mister. Left side, bottom, left side. I'm not doing that side, but I will do this side. Bottom, bottom of the R, bottom of the dot, left side and bottom, left side and bottom. All right, left side right there and left side right here. You can even do it with script lettering. So if I do the left side here, it gets a little tricky sometimes because that's sort of like the top part of this eye. So I'm gonna skip that, left side, bottom, bottom, bottom. Switch it over to this left side here. There you have it. I'm going to do each one of these letters, but I'm, in order to um, save on time, I'll do it as a time-lapse video, starting right now.
right, boys and girls, so that is our first tutorial on lettering. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me do it, but now it's time for you to try it yourself. Um, try any type of lettering. As, if you can print it, you can create block lettering and bubble lettering. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. If you need extra resources, feel free to look up different fonts, um, but this method is sound. If you can print it, you just kind of outline it carefully and then erase your pencil lines. Even you can make beautiful, beautiful bubble letters and block letters and script bubble letters. I cannot wait to see your products. Um, in our next video, I'll be going over um, how to apply different colors and some techniques to uh, make these things look even cooler. So look forward to that and I will see you next time.